Hey. Hey everyone, how you doing? I hope your days are good, hope your s weather is sunny, and hope you're feeling great after a good sleep. Or, if you're going to sleep soon, I hope you have a lovely sleep. Um, hello everyone, hello wherever you're watching from. I'm Ali, your English teacher. Every, not every Sunday, but most Sundays at 1pm London time, I'm here to teach you English. Whatever you want to learn, that's what we're going to teach. Today we had a lot of requests. Um, one which I really liked was... How to use the word bloody. Um, I really liked that one. So I think we're going to do... How to use bloody. That's a good one. Um, what else do we have? Um, let me know in the comments as well if there's something you want to learn, like the difference between this word and this word, or how do I use this word? Let me know in the comments. I'll read you. I'll read your comment. I can't reply to everyone, but I will try. Um, hey, time. How you doing? Hey, in Australia. Oh, Tagwa, you're from Australia. I always see your name here, but I didn't know uh, which country you're watching from. So, hello in Australia. Isn't it crazy late there today? Australia, you're the opposite time as us. Um, okay. So let's get started with this one, I think. Um, first, I'm going to draw one of you. So if you want me to draw you from your little icon of your face, let me know. Just say draw me and i'll try i'll try um asma hi from palestine stay strong in palestine sending my love from london to palestine um okay emmanuel let's have a look at you it <laughs> wait that's not that's not your picture it's a dog. Okay, I'm trying to open your little picture. I'm trying to have a look. Why is it showing me a dog again? Okay. Oh, oh, I just saw it. Okay, Emmanuel was the first one to say so. Okay, Emmanuel. Um. That's too much. That's way too much. Way too much. There we go. About that. I think. I think. I don't know. I'm not very good at drawing. I'm not good when it... When I have to draw a hat, I'm just rubbish at it. It always looks wrong. See? It just looks rubbish. So, Emmanuel, I'm really sorry. Uh, I can't draw hats. Like, when it's like this, I can't. I can't draw them. I'm really sorry. You have a good picture. It's just I'm not good at drawing. This is terrible. Okay. Okay, now I need... Uh, so this is Emmanuel. Thank you for volunteering, Emmanuel. Um, what is Emmanuel doing? Uh, so I need a, a situation. What is he doing? Natalia, the hat is good. It's. I mean, thank you, Natalia, but it's not. You're very, very nice to say, but no. Georginia Perez from Guatemala. Six in the morning? Why are you awake at six in the morning? It's so early. Go back to bed. I'll save this video so you don't have to wake up early. But I mean, I listen, Georginia, thank you for joining. I appreciate you so much. You know what? I think I'm going to draw you next because... Oh, you're wearing a hat as well. Okay. Fine. Okay, so what is Emmanuel doing in this situation? Hey, Halima, how you doing? 
Um, Blackboard English is Halima from Blackboard English. She's very nice and a very good teacher. Um, show her some love because she's brilliant. Jan Kripka, hey, don't apologize for being late. The, the main thing is that you're here. So welcome. Shine, it's 6.30 where you are. Again, why? Why would you be awake at this time? It's crazy. Cindy is from Colombia, living in Australia. Mm. What time is it in Australia? Okay. Okay, so Beatrice says he's studying. Okay, I like that. I like that. So maybe he is studying with Georginia. I like this. So Georginia Perez is studying with uh, Emmanuel. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw this. This is not going to go well. What are we saying? That Georginia is the the teacher here? Oh god. I'm so rubbish at this. Cuz it's the like the perspective of under the hat and the... I just can't do it. Ugh. Oh, you know, that's okay. That's, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. What just happened? Mimi! Mimi, you absolute legend. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Did you have a message? No, but you have a super sticker. Nice. Mimi? I love you, Mimi. Did you know that? I love you. You absolute legend. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, okay. So. I have to get rid of that. You know what? You have a lot of hair. Let's do that first. I'm sorry. I messed your face up. Um. I was working out before, so my hands are super shaky right now. Um, I can't draw straight lines. It's terrible. Okay. That's fine. I'll do. That's the best my hands can do right now is that. Um, okay, so Emmanuel is, is really not happy. With his studying. Because um, Georginia what did Georginia do? So they're studying together, but why is why is Emmanuel mad? Why is he not happy? Maybe she gave him like what extra work to do or something? What do you think? Well, he is angry. Yes, that's very true. Hey, from Japan. Hello. Echitabitai. Please forgive me. My, my reading is terrible in Japanese. It takes me a long time. Oh, Kinga. Kinga Schmidt. Your name sounds familiar. You've been here before. This is not your first time, right? Kinga. You've definitely been here before. Oh, did you used to watch me on Twitch? Your name is very familiar. Anyway, um, Kinga said she stole his homework. Yes, I love that idea. Okay, so here's homework. There we go. All the pages of his homework. She just stole them. I love that idea. This is good. When we collaborate on an idea, it always goes well. <laughs> okay, so um, she stole his homework. He is not happy about that. How can he express this? Well, we can use that word bloody. So bloody is an adjective, which means it describes something. But we can use it in, an, in expressions. So... You must have heard, obviously. Blood. 
bloody hell. This is a fixed expression. Bloody hell. When you are frustrated, when you're angry, it's a, an expression. Something we say when we're frustrated, when we're angry. Oh, bloody hell. Notice the pronunciation. Kind of doesn't matter where you put the stress. It could be on the first one. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. It could be on hell. Oh, bloody hell. See? But it's never on the second syllable. It's never on that one. Bloody hell. No. We don't pronounce it like that. Only bloody hell or bloody hell. You know? So one or three. Not on the D. Not that one. You don't stress that syllable. Um, I just saw a very good question. Mammy Mima. Hey, Mammy Mima. Um, is bloody less vulgar than F? The F word. I'm going to say because this is my channel and I don't think I'll get demonetized for it. <laughs> is bloody less vulgar than fuck? Yes, it is. Um, I... Mm. I said this once when I was really young to my dad and I remember he was really angry with me. So for young kids, some people don't like it, but it's really not that bad. It's not. It's like, I would argue that shit is this much vulgar. Bloody is, is a bit lower than that. So you know it's really not that bad if if you're a teacher and your students say bloody hell you're fine don't worry about it they're, they're okay alexi what's the best sunday feature live from the awesome english teacher thank you alexi that's very sweet of you thank you so so much you're so kind you're so kind vanessa say hi to brazil bon dia brazil um if you're in florianopolis i'm very jealous of your surroundings I've seen photos of Florianopolis and I really want to go there. I should be there. But, you know. Everyone's dying. But I'm mildly inconvenienced. So let's be sad for me. Janet. Hey, how you doing? Um, do, do, do. Okay, so that's one way we use bloody as an expression. But remember I said it's an adjective, right? So we can use it to, well, we can use it before a noun or, or before a, oh. You know what? This is actually a very interesting word. I'll be honest, I didn't prepare. Shockingly, I never prepare for these classes, but... It's a very good, useful word. I'm going to show you how we use it. So, um, remember that Emmanuel had his homework stolen by Georginia. Georginia, are you still in here? Or are the, did the police arrest you? Are you in prison yet, Georginia? And Emmanuel, how do you feel about all this? Because this is your homework, my guy. Um... Okay, oh, quickly, Katerina says, do Americans say bloody hell or is this more British? Definitely British. When Americans say bloody hell, it sounds very weird. <laughs> I'll be honest, Americans ruin a lot of swear words. We love the C word. I won't say that one because that probably will get me demonetized. But we say it cute in a cute way. Americans ruined it. They gave it a whole horrible meaning. I hate when Americans say the C word, but when British people say it, it's kind of cute. So yeah, bloody definitely British. Just, uh, if you're learning the British, uh, if you prefer learning British English, then just know bloody is really good for you. 
If you're learning American English, if you have an American accent, bloody might sound a bit strange. However, if English is your second language, you don't have to worry. You can say whatever you want because you learned it. Um, but, you know, if you were born and raised in the USA, people might think you're a bit strange. Like, like oh, you traveled to England and now you think you're English. It's the same when we go to America and we start talking in an American way. It's like, oh my God, you went on holiday to Disney and now you think like you're so LA, so Los Angeles. It's just funny. There we go. That is exactly the sentence I'm after. Emmanuel, brilliant. If you're looking for this guy in the chat, Emmanuel Ramirez Frica? I'm not, I'm not sure how that accent works. Is it Frika? Or, I don't know. I'm really upset. It's my bloody Homer. Yes, that's exactly what he's saying. It's my bloody homework. my bloody homework so i'm sorry if you can hear planes in the background i live kind of close to um london city airport so occasionally there's like planes flying overhead and my door is open because it's a very nice day today and i, I need that air and that vitamin d from the from the sun it, it, did I pronounce your name all right? Did I? Thank you. Good. That's amazing. Okay, great. I'm happy. Give him his bloody homework. I totally agree. Georginia is just a, a bad person today. So, it's my bloody homework. So, what does this mean? Now, it's... It doesn't really mean anything. We're not We're not saying it's like stupid homework or we're not saying it's amazing homework. Bloody is more of a it's more of a modifier. You know? So you're just like emphasizing what you want to say like maybe you're angry, you know? You mostly use this when you're angry. Um, or when you're very surprised but anyway it just emphasizes the situation shows a lot of emotion that is the key thing you're just giving a lot of emotion to what you're saying that's pretty much it so when people say it's black pink what can you hear black what, you can hear Blackpink right now? Yeah. But yeah, so it just makes whatever you're saying a bit more intense, a bit more emotion, you know? So... My bloody homework. Yeah, you could just say it's my homework. But when you add bloody, it just makes it all more emotional, more intense. Oh, that's it. That's it. Now... Uh, someone said, is it formal or informal? Uh, Shodia. It's very informal. It's slang. It's vulgar-ish. I don't care. I don't think it's vulgar at all. I think it's fine. In British English, this is not vulgar, I would say. What's my name? My name's Ali. I'm Ali. Nice to meet you. Levan. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Atsuko, how you doing, Atsuko? It's always nice to see you in the chat, Atsuko. Um, right, so, that. But, because Georginia is such a bitch, she is going to say...
I'm bloody stealing it. I'm bloody stealing it, mate. Again, she's just intensifying the situation. She could be like, I'm stealing it. But no, she wants to add a bit more emotion, a bit more attitude, let's say. A bit more attitude. I'm bloody stealing it. You know? So it adds that kind of feeling of attitude, a bit more intensity, a bit more emotion. That is how bloody works. Now, I've given you negative sounding examples, angry sounding examples. Of course, it could be a positive example. Like. Um, Uh, Mehmet says, has it got a sexual meaning or killing? Why blood? That's a really good question, actually. Where did that sound come from? Oh, I've never heard that sound before. Yeah, um, you can get my ebook on Patreon. Uh, there's not much more to say than that. <laughs> I made an ebook full of worksheets so you can practice your English uh, grammar, vocabulary, all the good stuff. The link is in the description. It's on my Patreon. If you get it, you'll see your name pop up there that you got the ebook on Patreon. And I'll be very, very happy to have you as part of my Patreon family. Yeah, so why bloody? Um, so the red stuff, the red liquid in you, Blood. Same spelling. Blood. Why is it... I've forgotten what band it is. There's a band that has a song called Bloody Sunday. And they literally mean... Um, I think it was like a... There was a war. Lots of people died. Lots of blood everywhere. So that was literal. Blood. Bloody... Blood everywhere. The Sunday was bloody. You too! Thank you, Sebastian and Unibi. Thank you. Mammy, mammy. Yeah, see, you know music. I don't. Um, You too, exactly. Yeah, you too. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Oh, because it's Ireland. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, a gloomy Sunday? No. No, It's it was after a war. So lots of people died. Lots of blood everywhere. So quite literally, the Sunday... Full of blood? Bloody. It's an adjective. But, um... Anywho, a positive example. Let's do... One more. Uh, if you want me to draw you, let me know. I'm going to try and draw another person, because... You're all just so nice. I, I enjoy hanging out with you, you know? So, as a thank you to you, I want to draw you. Hey, Pat M. Pat, what's your last name, Pat M? What's the M for? I think, I think you told me which country you're from, and I can't remember which one. Oh, wait, the currency is, I think, Polish. You're Polish. What's a Polish last name that begins with M? I, I don't know any Polish last names. Of course, only if you feel comfortable giving your last name in a in a live stream chat. Um, okay, so if you want me to draw you, let me know in the comments. There's a bit of a delay, so I, I won't see your comment straight away. Mazo I can't even I can't pronounce it. Pat M, it's always a pleasure to see you and have you. I c I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name because I'm that stupid. I can't. I just can't. I'm sorry. Um, okie dokie. Mm. 
If you loved someone, what would be the best present to give them? There you go. We'll... we'll... You want to show someone that you love them. Which present do you give them? Beatrice is a car. I like that. It's pretty good. A necklace. Time. <laughs> Takeshi's here is his time. How do you give someone to... Oh. That's sweet. That's actually a very cute answer. It's a very cute answer. Um... Flowers are the best present, Bernard said. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, Nicoletta said a trip together. That would be sweet. That would be cute. A puppy. Mammy Mimo says a puppy. You know what? Yeah. You, yeah. Okay. A puppy. That's the... Oh, my God. I draw a puppy. Let's try this. Yeah. Absolutely gonna mess this up. This looks more like a pig than a than a dog, but I mean, it's a it's a skinny dog, but it's all right. We're not going to body shame a dog. No, she's so happy that she's crying. What is she going to say to that dog? What is she going to say to the dog? Have a guess. <laughs> Bastion brought up a good point. Uh, even if the dog's skinny, it's fatter than them. That's very true. That's a very these people are very very skinny. Um, also, Bastion, very good use of even. You definitely saw my last video. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now, she's saying this to the dog, remember? I bloody love you. So, again, remember, bloody, it's... It makes things more intense and full of emotion. It's not saying something's bad or good. It just adds emotion and intensity. So if you say to someone, I love you, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I bloody love you. 
<laughs> I mean, it sounds a little bit silly, but you're at, it's more intense. That's it. <laughs> and very, very British. Remember, don't... Americans will not use this. Actually, Madonna and Nicki Minaj do because they sometimes do a British accent. I don't know why, but this is, um, yeah, this could be fun to say to someone, I bloody love you. You know what? If you have a English speaking boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or best friend, text them this. I bloody love you. Trust me, you will make their day. They will be so happy that you sent them that message. Una be banned it says bloody is equal to very in that case. Basically, it it's like it. Hmm. Again, it just makes it more intense. So yeah, if you say I'm very happy, you know, I'm bloody happy. It kind of works the same, but you could also use it like I've just just uh, given an example with a verb as uh, Georginia did in the last example I'm bloody stealing this <laughs> bloody love you just adds intensity that is it so um, but you know what? I like this picture I might save this kind of cute there we go screenshot I'll put that on Instagram um victoria isn't it a swear word yeah D to be honest it depends who you ask in theory yes but no one's gonna be offended by it no one gets offended by bloody um to be if i heard a kid say bloody hell it would be very cute and you wouldn't think, oh, you're a bad child. Just think, oh, that's kind of cute. Also, also, it's kind of old fashioned. So, like, it's not as common to hear as it used. I don't mean it's not common now. I just mean it was way more common a long time ago. That's it. It's still okay to use. It's still good. Natasha says is it Dracula's word. That I like that. You're a funny one. Natasha, you're a funny one. I like that. Um Vincent says, can you tell us when you usually use that word? Just when I feel more emotional, when I really want to emphasize something, then I'll use it. You know? Oh, so bloody tired. So you can use it with words like so or very. So, yes, the meaning is similar to very, but you can put them together. I am so bloody tired. It's fine to use. Try your own examples in the comments. Lizeth says, where is Ali? This is Ali. I'm Ali. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lizeth. Bastion, I bloody like your lesson, dude. Nice. Nice. Really good. Uh, Marco, I am bloody sick of fake influencers. Aren't we all? But people follow money. Okay, Anastasia. Great example. What a bloody cake you cooked. Now, very important with pronunciation for this. Um... I would, em because you're emphasizing, I would emphasize every word. What a bloody cake. I wouldn't say it like, oh, that's a bloody cake. If, if you don't emphasize the word, it doesn't hit. It doesn't really work. You need to emphasize bloody, you know? Wow, what a bloody cake. See, you need the emphasis on the word bloody. Otherwise, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't work very well. Max, Ali is a bloody great teacher. Love you, Max. Thank you so much. Um, Enrique Silva, Ali, which place of England do you live? I live in London, buddy. Um, 
Shodia, I am bloody happy. Nice. Good example, Shodia. You're brilliant. You're bloody brilliant, Shodia. Pato says, it's so bloody hot here. Nice. Um, Takeshi Zero, bloody is bloody British. Nice. Nice. I like that, Takeshi Zero. That's a great example. Um, Kinga says, it's bloody cloudy today. Not here, Kinga. We've got really nice weather now. Like, in London, the weather is supposed to be in the 20s for the next week. I'm very, very happy about this. Erin Cook says, I bloody miss London. Come back, man. Come back. Oh, England. Sorry. Come back. Una be banned. Bloody good coffee. Nice. Really good. Alvia says, it is bloody good meal. Don't forget your article. Ah, it's a bloody good meal. It's a bloody good meal. Well done, Alvia. Really good. Um, Sandia says, I am bloody happy due to today I can buy salchi papas. What is a salchi papa? Salchi papa. Is it a soup? What is that? A bread thing? I don't, I'd love to know. But you're bloody happy due to today. Okay, so your sentence sounds a bit mixed there. I would change due to for because. Due to sounds a bit formal for your sentence. That's why. So I'm bloody happy today because I can buy salchi papas. Nice. Georginia, I'm so bloody happy for this English class. Georginia, thank you for joining it and thank you for being such a bitch to Emmanuel for stealing his homework. You're a legend and we all love you. Emmanuel, we love you too. FGFO, I think you think you're so bloody clever. Amazing. That's a really good one. Um, A Vita, you're, you are bloody late. You are bloody late. Again, when you say it, emphasize the word bloody. Otherwise, it, it's a bit weird. Enrique Silva, you look like Sa Saitama from One Punch Man. Who is Saitama from One Punch Man? agree so i look like this apparently uh there you go apparently i look like him that's really funny i like that i apparently i need to watch one punch man now that's really funny i like that one Oh, new loggers, Chella. So you said, I bloody feel like eating carrot cake. Hmm. Why does that not sound great? Oh, okay. No, if you said, I, mean, no, I, I bloody feel like, mm, for some reason, that doesn't feel right. The way I would say that would be. Yeah, I feel like I. Oh, you know what? If you add really, then it sounds good. I really bloody feel like eating carrot cake. Really bloody. For some reason, that makes your sentence sound okay. It didn't sound right without really. I don't know why. Just. Pat M says we could need a bloody visa to travel to the UK. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's so weird in England. All the people that voted Brexit, I'm very against Brexit. I think it was so stupid. But um, in England, people are complaining now because we have to have visas to go to other countries. Or if we if we go to France, we have to say, okay, I'm staying with uh, a friend at this place, or I'm staying in a hotel. Here is my booking. We didn't have to do that before, but now 
English people are like, ah, ah, but this is so inconvenient. I can't believe this. It's like, well, dickhead, you voted for it, so. Brexit is the stupidest thing. No, it's not. We've done many more stupid things than that. But one of the more stupid things that English people have done. Yeah. The puppy is bloody adorable. Boxer dog, you're a legend. Thank you. That is a great sentence. It's a great sentence. Um... Oh, okay. I think I know what the problem is here. Rania, your example is quite similar. I watch Ali's videos. Ali. Because I bloody want to improve my English. Okay. Okay. So when it's your feeling then, because um, Chala, you said I feel like, right? I think what works better is when you say I want or I like, I feel like those things expressing a preference or a want. Or maybe a need. I would say really bloody. I really bloody want, what was your thing? I really bloody want to improve my English. I really bloody want to improve my English. To my ear, it feels better, you know? So I bloody want to improve my English. I mean, it's, it's okay, but really bloody with in a, like a, I want, I feel like, I like, sounds better. I don't know why, it just does. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, let's do one more. Natasha said, a bloody visa sounds like a damn visa. Yeah, absolutely. So this is what I said before. It can be something good. It can be something bad. But it's not necessarily one or the other. It just means you feel very passionate about it. Whether you're angry or happy. Like this. I bloody love you. I'm not angry about it. I'm very passionate about it. So that is why you use bloody. So when she said a bloody visa, urgh, I'm passionate this time in a bad way. Like, yeah, it's a damn visa. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, English with Fatty Rachidi. Uh, I really bloody want to visit London. Nice. Nice. Um, Eskus Allen. Will it not be a bit harsh to use bloody? Mm. Again, it's considered a swear, but really. It's, it's kind of fine. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I think we're good. I think we've we've done busy. We've, do we've done busy. We've done bloody. I, I was reading a comment from 2T Ab that said, I'm bloody busy. Is it right? Yes, it's perfect. Well done, Tutti Ab. You legend. Yammer. Absa bloody lootly. Oh, that is a great thing to finish on. Um We often do this. Um Put bloody or or fucking in the middle of absolutely. I don't know why. It's kind of like that legend, wait for it, dairy thing. But just with the word absolutely. Yeah. Pretty much. So I hope you learned some new ways of using the word bloody. I hope that cleared some confusion for you. Um, I'll be back next Sunday at 1 p.m. London time for another English and Chill. Also, if you want to join my speaking club, 
practice your English speaking with me. My Patreon is a great place for that. The link is in the description. Also on Patreon is my ebook. Um, you can buy that. That's there, full of worksheets that you can improve your English with. So if the videos aren't enough for you, if you need more practice, get the ebook. It's the it's the best thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next weekend.